Oh, yeah. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. We have Melissa here today. She's a dancer here in New York City and an actress, musical theater, and yeah. a little of that, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to work on today? Um, I think like my upper back and my neck specifically. You ever feel like the right side's tighter than the left? Um, or it's hard to tell. Actually, the left usually is, but it's, I think, because of my scoliosis. Yeah, I feel this more bunched up on this side. Yeah. But this side maybe takes more of the, um, takes more of the pressure, the more of the burden. It's like a deep ache, oh, right? Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to adjust that with a single hand adjustment. Okay, so I'm going to come in like this. Lift this thigh in the air and then put it back down and then lift this thigh in the air and put it back down. Does either lifting one leg or the other make your back tight? Um, and you can experiment. A little bit more on the leg, I think. Okay. Lift the uh, right leg now, see how it feels. Yeah, it's tight. A little looser, right? We have more to do. Yeah. That's just another layer. I'm going to do a little spot here, okay? Yeah. Good. Lie on your back next, okay? I'm going to pull this paper away. And come up to the top of the table. Oh, yeah. Oh. Move closer to this edge. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reach under and really go into that spot. Oh. Line your side facing this way, please. Just pull away. Scoot down towards me a few inches. Perfect. Lie on your back. Oh. Would you feel that? Yeah. And my yeah. ankles. Yeah. Good. Come stand up. See how it feels. Oh, yeah. So much better. Good. Let me see the wrists a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Yeah. 
So I always like to start down at the feet, like you guys see in a lot of our videos. And we can see right away, right leg is much shorter than the left. And then we just bring it up. We get perfectly even. And I know Dr. Duff over, oh yeah, we have the hurt knee too, yeah. right? Did you end up having that surgery yet? I or? did. You did? Okay. Two so years ago, I still can't bend it. Yes, yeah, so we gotta be careful with that knee. So then I just kind of feel the pelvis to see what's going on inside here, because we all know that by correcting what's going on in the pelvis, directly affects everything all the way above and allows everything below to be able to start to function better when she's doing CrossFit, right? Yeah, so right away, one of the things we're noticing, it's really pushed backwards right here. In chiropractic, we call it the PSIS, or the posterior superior iliac spine. For all you YouTube nerds out there that want to know about the anatomy, but pretty much the right hip is rocked backwards. Cool. Nice. And Alex is over there taking notes, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Best chiropractor in Austin, man. <laughs> and I'm going to be getting adjusted after this video, too, by oh, uh, Dr. Yeah. Alexander Duff, too, which oh, I I've, got been, you, bro. I've been needing one for a while. That's right. Right there, good. And keep that low back nice and relaxed. Yeah, see, it already starts to move right there. Oh. Just to make sure we actually made a difference. So it's one thing to adjust someone, it's another thing to adjust them and then check to see that you made a change. That way you can then start to work your way back up. So already right down here. Perfectly even. And then staying even, cool. Nice, and how long was the flight? It was like two hours? Yep. Two hours. Exactly. I need to go back to Boulder soon. I was gonna say. <laughs> now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. And then let it all the way out. And, uh, oh, perfect. Nice. Just like that. You can see inside here, it's a little bit flatter, which means that, yeah, right inside here is going to be a little extra stuck. So we definitely feel that right there. That's why you keep your head nice and relaxed. I'm just going to bring it over to the side. Uh, beautiful. Perfect much nicer and that's an area that we've been seeing has been really stuck on a lot of people especially during COVID season Be nice. and then what I want you to do is slide down about an inch okay. give yourself a nice big hug cool and I'm just gonna roll you over this way let's see get right on that same area yeah right there good big breath in and let it all the way out so rock it. Yeah, oh, we're a little bit extra stuck. Now. I know, What's Alex going struggles with, with that area too. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll, so we'll, we'll do it another way. I'm gonna check this first and then we'll have you go face down again so we can okay. get some more movement inside. So actually, it's kind of funny. I remember we did this last time in Boulder yeah. as well. I remember the reaction you made. <laughs> the consistency. It shows that it's actually, yeah. Let's see, yeah, so right there. Cool. So I'm just gonna stand on this side. And I want you to lean back a tiny bit. And all you gotta do is just kind of look up and then drop your head over into this hand like you're sleeping. And I just wanna find that sweet spot. All right, that's perfect. Oh! There we go. That Amazing. actually felt really good. Good. Get right in on that area again. And I just do a drop right inside here. Yeah. Good. And do that two more times. Good just to make sure there's no scar tissue being built up, no adhesions right in there. Perfect. Up next, we have Dr. Gregory Johnson. Yeah, it's much more tonic on the right side. He's got a little curvature in his thoracic spine, which is called a scoliosis, but his is not pathological, it's functional. He brought his x-rays in that we've already evaluated. He's got about three subluxations up in his cervical spine. So I'm going to start off adjusting his left SI joint. Yep. L5 straight P to A, L4 straight P to A, L3 P to A with I to S, L2 a little more I to S, lower thoracics here straight I to S, P to A in his mid thoracics. P to A also in his upper thoracics. Probably sorry about that. There we go. Okay, let's turn you on your back. No. Mm -hmm. I know you love your crack, so I'll be quiet. For about two seconds. Mm -hmm. There, okay, slide down this way. There you go, okay. 
I even actually hands right there on you, Tony. Let this one go. There we go. You should have felt that from your knee all the way up in your lower back. Yeah. Same thing here. I'm decompressing you from both ends today, Robert. There we go. You feel that one the same? Yeah, there we go. There. I know she dropped her head down a lot. You want to try keeping the chin up a little bit more? I hope you maintain this alignment longer. You just looking down with your phone. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. We give people uh, lifestyle advice as well as far as posture, sitting, sleeping, standing, walking. A lot of people are looking down at their phones all the time and texting or working on their phones as a computer. Okay, let's come over here. There we go. There we go, Murphy. You're going to let your legs just relax and bend with the table movement. So this is Robert's very first ring dinger which he instinctively knew he needed. I know a lot of you are out there thinking that same thing. There's only one way to tell. And that's to come here and get it done yourself. That's what Robert's doing. Deep breath with your right big toe. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> wow. You should have felt that one all the way down, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, look at there. You're still kicking. <laughs> I better do this left one over. because Oh, he wasn't kicking on the left one. Yes, he is. <laughs> And I don't do that to make sure I didn't paralyze the patient. I do that to see the improvement in the patellar reflexes after they get this decompression adjustment. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.